And sometimes it makes me sad. But then I have to remind myself that somebody aren't meant to be clean. Their feathers are just too bright. <laughs> this is the incredible true story of how I came to be fired from pets at home. <laughs> do a great impression of a hot dog. Now then, welcome back impression learners and people who might just be curious about the process. This is my second video for beginners who want to master the Morgan Freeman impression. It's designed to be used in conjunction with the first video, but it does work as a standalone. Basically, I'm gonna be going through some videos and enacting those techniques and uh, explaining them as I go through. Also, I'm gonna be teaching a real life bona fide beginner, uh, my brother, and see if he can improve by the end of the video. So will you please tell the audience that I have never met you before? <laughs> Sometimes it makes me sad though, Andy being gone. Yeah, that's really good. Um, oh, so I don't need these lessons. You have to stand so close. <laughs> you said stand close. Oh yeah. So this is the classic starter Shawshank quote video that I used seven or eight years ago. Mm -hmm. Who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. Key things you want to uh, do here, try and find that depth in your voice by starting the voice deep in your chest. Mm -hmm. All right. Who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. All right, I want you to really go for that depth. Start the, the noise from uh, deep in your chest. <laughs> Andy Dufresne. A man who crawled through seven miles of shit and came through the other side clean. Make sure you know the words um, before you try and do that. Well, you missed the laugh at the start. Did he? It always makes me laugh. Look. Yeah, but he's not actually laughing in the narration. <laughs> no, but he's yeah. part of the video. <laughs> yeah, you can't hear him laughing. Uh, <laughs> just, okay. I don't know who's teaching who here. <laughs> All right, let's just move on. Those of us who knew him best talk about him often. I swear the stuff he pulled. Sometimes it makes me sad, though. Andy being gone. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Thank you, thank you. Those of us who knew him best talk about him often. Okay, I can I do that one. I swear the stuff he pulled. Those of us who knew him best talk about him often. <laughs> Line. <Yeah. laughs> Those words you were best talk about them often. I swear the stuff he pulled. It's sometimes it's useful to practice different aspects of the impression in isolation from all of the others. So you've got one thing you concentrate on. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Birds remind birds aren't meant to be caged. So that's Morgan Freeman without any of the other stuff in. And then if I put all the other bits back in, I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Think of it as like B-E-R-D-S. Some birds. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Yeah, you've got the pronunciation of birds there. We go, we, we're getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the advantages of using the Shawshank quotes in the beginning is um, the rhythm is really nice and poetic. I always find this easier to start an impression when you've got long bits of dialogue to work with. Um, it's quite consistent as well. And when you're starting out, you're really just trying to find that depth and pronunciation of particular words. So this video is my go-to video for whenever I do a Morgan Freeman paid voiceover. Hey, go, look at this. Stop, what are you doing? Oh, look, the table goes up and down. Yes. God, someone's having some big books with those Morgan Freeman voices. The thing I want you to really focus on in this video is the facial expressions of Morgan Freeman, okay? Mm, got it. We're not going to do the voice, we're just going to look at his face. Explore more of this great planet. We are ready to take you there. All you have to do is fly. All you have to do is fly. When you do impressions, um, it's important that your face changes. All the best impressions that I do, um, I can feel the face almost like implanted on me. For example, Walter White. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
what we're going to do is mm -hmm. practice that facial expression. We're not going to do the voice, which I think is a, a useful uh, exercise. You got ready? Tense your lips. Okay, there's not a lot of jaw movement, but quite a lot of lip movement. So I want you to tense your lips and your cheeks like this. Just like that, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. And obviously Morgan Freeman doesn't look like that, but to make your voice, mm. your face look like that. All you have to do is fly. All you have to do is fly. All you have to do is fly. That's pretty good. All you have to do is fly. All you have to do is fly. So you can see there the um, what he does with his eyes. I want you to try yeah. and mimic exactly that. Let's see it one more time. It's fly. All you have to do is fly. Okay, you probably lost a bit of the depth there because you're focusing on the eyes. But how are my eyes? Eyes were, yeah, 6.5 out of 10. That was pretty good. A good example of this, uh, if you go and look at my... Um, Morgan Freeman counting to a thousand video. I'm constantly changing um, the type of Morgan Freeman voice uh, that it is throughout the video. And that is largely due to the change in facial expressions. Okay. My hair isn't like his. If I <laughs> stick it up more. See, the hair pulls like the scalp back and the face into shape. Yeah, it could yeah. be that. Maybe if I do that. All you have to do is fly. Yeah, good work up to Miss Prime. So, scalp is important. <laughs> When you get pretty competent in an impression, uh, not after just five minutes of um, being given tips, to finish it off, you want to be able to do them in different modes. And the best way to do that is to have the movie mode and also have them conversationally. So we're gonna look at Morgan Freeman in an interview and pull out the kind of things that he does differently to when he's acting compared to when he's talking to someone in a conversation. Have you regretted ever turning down something? Never. Never. I regretted not getting something that I auditioned for, maybe, or just wasn't thought of for, but I've never regretted turning down anything. Never. Never. I regretted not getting something I auditioned for. He, like, he fluctuates between a higher um, pitch and a lower pitch. Um, also, the rhythm, and I'd say this is the most important thing, the rhythm is completely different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like when he's acting, is this sort of like a bit of a melodic flow to it, but when he is conversational, uh, there's a lot more pauses, a lot more time for thought. Um, so let me, let me tell you something. Okay. None of us do. We, we all thought about it, but, well, um, yeah. And it goes up, and then every now and then it goes real down. Never deep, never. I regret not getting something I auditioned for. Rhythm and depth changing. Never. I regret not getting something. <laughs> <laughs> I auditioned for. No, um, no, no. This is something that you probably don't want to be doing until you've got the depth, you've got the general rhythm. You can't change it until you've got it like um, in the subconscious memory. Try or try not. Oh, no, that's not the line. <laughs> Well, things went on like that for Luke. Think about life, it's just a routine, a bit more routine. <sighs> I've regretted not getting something I've auditioned for. I've regretted not getting something I've what auditioned for. <laughs> Trying to teach Yoda how to do a Morgan Freeman impression. Can I be in it? Mm. Sometimes. It makes me sad though. It's Aren't meant to be caged. I mean, I don't know what that was. <laughs> but sometimes it may be sad though. Sometimes it makes me sad though. But then I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. Sometimes it makes me sad though. And being gone. But then I have to remind myself that some birds are too bright to be caged. <laughs> <laughs> so, to recap, um, there's the three videos that I would use 
as an escalation of improving your Morgan Freeman impression. Key things to point out, using those first videos to get the pitch and the enunciation of particular words and that Shawshank rhythm. Using the second video to really get those facial expressions to get the instrument of your mouth uh, into the right place. And using the third video to get the change in conversational rhythm and that change in pitch that people do uh, when they're talking to another person as opposed to acting. Thanks for watching. Um, if you did find this useful, please do give it a like. And if you want to learn more about impressions or just watch impressions, uh, make sure you give us a subscribe and hit the bell notification on. Um, I do want to talk to you about this uh, standing desk that I got uh, from Fully. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I haven't been paid to say this, but I have been really impressed with it. Maybe if they see this, uh, they might send me uh, some kind of productivity beanbag harness that can hang from the ceiling. I don't know. While these desks are not cheap, they are very high quality and they have improved my productivity a lot in the last month or so that I've had it. I got mine in a really nice walnut finish, which looks great with my iMac and my sort of dark uh, kit that I have. I've got way more space um, to do all my video editing and animating. The desk was really easy to put together. Um, the mechanism is super quiet. The function of being able to go from sitting to standing uh, at the touch of a button is absolutely fantastic. If you do work from home and you have the money, I would strongly recommend you get one of these. Um, it has already added a lot to my life. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.